is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, blame us as we do ourselves. Right. Get rid of that, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 192, NASDAQ off 52, S&P's off 9.5, gold contract up at $11.10 at 1865 an ounce. We get silver up 9 cents, $25.04 an ounce, late sweet crude down 246, $78.29 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 7 ticks, trading at 130.13, the 30-year up 11 at 160.11 and king dollar. King dollar down 66 ticks, trading 95.848, euro is a 113. The yen is out here at 114, and the British pounds at 134 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY out here. You get a sideways move. Bottom line, you're down a buck 15, but that's certainly a sideways move. You get 30 million shares traded. Yesterday, you tried to push higher with... 48 million shares traded. That's telling me that, hey, man, we're going higher. You know, bottom line. Th these are the little subtle new moves, folks, okay, that you want to keep your eye on. See, the, the high out here has 66 million shares traded. That's 470.65. Yesterday, you get up to 470.48, and you have an expansion of volume. Bottom line, you're backing down today, and you get 30 million. So we'll do 40 million. The, what I've found is this. You can find out more about how the markets are reacting on the counter trend move. And the counter trend move, what I'm saying right now, would be as you're backing down. Because you're backing down and there's no sellers on the back down. That's how this baby uh, shakes out. We to go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs, bottom line, set up the same way. The, the, the three Qs right now, they're basically flat at 397.54. The high is 400.99. Uh, what we did out here yesterday is that uh, you got up to uh, 397. You did uh, 27 million shares. This will do 27. It'll do 27, 30 million shares. That, that's, that's what I expect we're going to do. Uh, so we'll see how this baby shakes out. Thus far, you only have 21 million. Gold. Gold contract right out here. We'll take a look at the gold contract. We hit 1870 today. We hit 1851 today. It rejected lower price at 1851. Uh, bottom line, let's see this. Gold, my take, gold is building costs to get to this uh, 1925. It's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, GCZ. So we're at 1865 up. You're up $11.5 right now. We're going to take a look at the silver market. Silver also wants higher price. Silver's up 10 cents. You're trading at 25.04. And it looks to me your next step up on silver, you get two different areas here. When we broke the 2495, which we're just barely over it, um, that's basically saying that you're going to get about two and a half dollars. So it's at 25, 20, that's $27. So the next move, that makes sense. You get a swing high up here that laying out from July 6th. 
that's game. That's the 2695. I suspect we're going to get all the way up to this 28th 77 area. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at that note and bond market because what you have here, I want to show you something here. Though this is pretty cool. So, and this is you. We haven't seen this in years, folks. Okay. So what what you have here is this: is that you have the the 10 year. The 10 year got to the bottom of its range consolidation, the lower part of it, a rejected lower price. Bottom line is trying to get out of here. That being said, now watch the difference. Normally, you know, if we've been looking at the last 15, 20 years, the bottom line is that we haven't had the yield curve flatten out. What the yield curve flatten out means specifically, folks, is that the long-term rates are not going up as fast as the short-term rates. And you can see that in the 30-year chart. See the 30-year chart? The, bo the bottom of that chart is 157.03, but yet we're still up at 160, where the 10 is at the very bottom of that. Now, let me see if I can. I think I can show you this yield curve. One second. Take that. Where's that curve? Volatility. Come on, baby. Give me that curve. Mm. There it is. Let's see that. What did that do? Yep, I'd have to look at that. In the bottom, bottom line, oh, I see what's happening. Okay, hold on one second. I got the wrong one up. Okay, so there's, so right now the 10 year is at 1.6. Watch this. Now I'm going to put the 30 year up. 30 year is only two. Is that the difference? It's, it's intriguing. So the change is the range. Anyway, uh, King Dollar. Let's go take a look at King Dollar out here. What do we have with King Dollar out here? Well, we have a King Dollar. King Dollar got to a price point today of 96,241, and you're at 95,837. It looks, you know, I don't think King Dollar's done just yet. I, I'd love it to be done. <laughs> um, but it looks to me that 97,633 could be game. Uh, so we'll see how that baby shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today inside of the marketplace. You got. Uh, Apple's up three bucks trading 154. You got Rivian down 25 bucks at 146. Uh, Sonus, look at this, man. Holy cow, what the heck happened? Ah, this thing's up $19, man. Wow. Visa's down 11 bucks. That's a, that's a, Tesla's up 33. Let's go over to Sonus Group, man. What is this? So, oh, Sono Group. Oh, different ball game. Electric power. Everyone's getting. They're, you know, you get an electric power stock out here, folks, and they, they're just putting it to the moon. I see. This is an IPO. Okay. So the bottom line is that it was at $20 today, though. Uh, it gets up to 34 Yeah. So just put electric in front of the name, folks, and the bottom line is that you will get those day traders in there ramping that baby up in a monster way. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Pretty wild. Um, Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla. Elon just keeps selling shares out here. Um, and the thing that's a mind blower is that people just keep buying it. It's like, man, oh, man. Um, you know, let's see. So the number to keep your eye on Tesla is going to be it's 11.04. Uh, we hit 11.19 out here today. You got a little volume, but you're coming into the downdraft when he was selling like crazy. 59 million is coming into 28 million. That's telling me that Tesla's still going to get to a lower price. Say right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down a buck uh, 60. NASDAQ is up uh, 30. S&P is off about five and a half. Let's go take a look at a couple of the pot stocks out here. We'll start with Canopy. Canopy's down 72 cents, trading $13.65. So you're backing down with light volume. This still wants higher volume, uh, higher price, rather. So you came off the low. What you did out here is this, is that you come off the low. You got, you got to have a little juice coming off the low. Um, you got the higher high. We let's see on today's today. Today's Wednesday, right? So Friday, you did 14 million shares. Not Friday. Yeah, yeah. Monday, we did 17 million. The back and down with five million. This will. This is. This is how you get bottoms in. It looks to me like these bottoms are in. Uh, this can go test 1286 pretty easy. 1286 is the highs of the lows. So that's Canopy. Let's Tilray. You want to look at TLRY. Let's go take a look at Tilray. Tilray out here, same setup, man. You can see that the, you know, it, it, Tilray, the thing that's interesting about Tilray, Tilray is actually a better setup. I, I, I own Canopy, and I just bought it. We just bought it at the pretty, at, almost at the lows in the newsletter. Um, but Tilray is a better setup. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Uh, and the reason I'm saying that, is the on the 28th of July that was your first get go on the way up, and then it went to lower lows. Then we got a, a sign of strength on the 19th of October. Then you got another one on the 4th of November, and then we that high uh, Monday's a good high, um, uh, meaning that 61 million shares on the way up and just backing down with 13 million. I like that type of setup. Uh, GBTC, that's Bitcoin. You take a look at Bit this is the Bitcoin Trust, uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Right now, this is trading at uh, $48. Now, hey, check this out, folks. This is pretty wild. So we've seen this. I haven't brought this up for a long period of time, okay? But we've seen this that has it has a 30 40% premium. Now it has a minus premium, okay? So if you're going to buy Bitcoin... And, you know, you want Bitcoin for a long period of time? Well, bottom line, you can buy it 15% cheaper by buying the Grayscale Trust, you know. So uh, what's the question here? Well, Crip Buffett won't touch crypto. Yeah, well, I won't either. Um, <laughs> um, and then a guy named Draper thinks it's going to 250. Um, you know, my, my take on crypto in general is that the, I don't, understand how you can use it, and I don't understand how you can make money on it. 
And I'm not, I understand that, yeah, you can buy it and it can go up and down, but you might as well go to the slot machine if you want to do that. And the slot machines always lose. So that's, that's my, my take on Bitcoin. I was, when I was on the TD Ameritrade network, I think it was Tuesday. What day is today? I was Wednesday. So I was on Monday. Uh, no, I was on Tuesday. So yesterday. So then the real question was there, the question about gold and Bitcoin. And, you know, bottom line is that, the, well, here, let's go with Grayscale Trust. I'll finish that story in a second. Gray, Grayscale Trust, this is, this is looking to me like, you know, you have building cause. And if you break the 4617, then you'll get down to the breakout area, which is that 4177. So what the question was, was that, you know, is Bitcoin taking the uh, buying away from gold? And, you know, the bottom line is that I, I, that could be real because there's only, there's only so much money that goes around. And then, you know, a couple of tigers said, uh, this, is, this, is pretty, this is wild, that, you know, all the old guys and <laughs> own, own gold and they're all dying off. And then the new, new folks are buying Bitcoin. Um, I've been around long enough that God bless them. I hope they all make money. I don't think they're going to though. <laughs> that's, that's the real bottom line. Cause you can't use it. You know, that, that's, that's the other side of it. How are you gonna use it? I don't know. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out though. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people that are into it and there's plenty of people that are into it that are very smart dudes and girls. And you know, we'll see uh, if, if it comes out that way. Uh, you know, most times you have to be able to use the currency that you're talking about in order to do something. Yeah, and one of the targets is saying the government will shut it down. What the government's definitely gonna do, that the thing is the thing that is absolutely wild, okay, is that the what a lot of the young people don't understand, which I don't think the smaller players will get penalized, but they could, is the aspect of taxes. <laughs> That's that is what's going to hit people in a big way, you know. So, the, the, you know, you know, you, you, I know there's plenty of young folks that are on their phone buying and selling Bitcoin or Ethereum every single day. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is that the good old IRS um, will jump in there. And what young traders don't understand is that you better keep records that are incredible inside the Bitcoin business because... What you're going to have there is that you're going to have a, a number at the end of the year that the broker dealer or Coinbase or someone is going to send to you. And that number is going to be an astronomical number, man. Because <laughs> if you've ever seen how that, those come across, okay, um, it is one big baby. But, hey, we'll, we'll see where it shakes out. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Okay. We got to go to NVIDIA because this is so intriguing because they've done so well. Uh, the low for the year is $115. The high is $323. And we are trading at $292 right now. And now the real question is, where does this want to go? Okay, so... Yeah, this says to me, 271. That's the breakout. Okay, let's do this on a weekly. So what I'm looking for here, folks, is this first. First, I'm going to look for an ABC, which on the weekly we have one, but it might have already finished, which is really cool, actually. So if that finished, that's 228, and that's 178, so that's 46 bucks. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, hold it. One second. What's 46 times 1.618? Hey, Siri, calculator. That's $74 plus 195. It's 269. Oh, this is interesting, folks. Let me put this on. The reason I'm saying that is that when you do more than a 1 to 1.618 ABC up or down is to change a trend in the marketplace. Let me just put this on a monthly first. Oh, yeah. This is going down. 
Holy cow. Okay. Let me do it this way. So this was also, yeah, my take is going down. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Might have to, yeah. This is, this is, look, look at this, look at this chart. So if we go back to January of 2019, it was a $31. So it's a 10 bagger. $31, the 323. You got to love it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials down 151. NASDAQ off 34. S&P's off 6.5. We're going to be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 149. We get the NASDAQ uh, off 40. S&Ps are off 7. CL. Let's go into this commodity market and take a look at uh, gasoline. So gasoline right now, we're trading at 229. I mean, I know when you look at this, you say the gas is a lot more than 229 than it is. Uh, that's what unlead is, is right now, though, folks. That, that's what we're trading. So let's bring this up. Let me see this. If I take this looks to me like this is just going to be, that was just a retracement. We just came down. Yeah, we did. So we just came down from 246. You got light volume here. Going into 55,000. 62,000 is 51 today. So 
this is going to get intriguing to see how this shakes out because what you have here from from the last leg up we just did a 0 0.382 retracement now when you do a 0 0.382 retracement folks the bottom line is that that's a very strong market so it looks to me i'll do it this way xb1 that we are going to continue higher inside the gasoline market let me I'll put this up and we'll put this on a monthly see where we stand i what i just did is i put a continuous contract on there and put it on a monthly oh interesting okay so two 228 oh this is good this is good okay so so what you have is this okay so what you're looking at right now if you're watching target tv i get this thing back to 2007 okay 2007 you're trading out uh unleaded we're trading at 363 and 2008 it crashes to 78 cents in 2011, it goes back up to 348. In 2016, it crashes to 89 cents, and then we've stayed in a range between 89 cents and three and 219 and 228, 228. We're at the top of that range, so this is this number is an important number. The longer that it stays outside of 228, and it's only a penny right now, the higher the probability is that you're actually going to get to 315. Uh, we if we get a a night. And right now, the way that is set up is that it looks to me like it doesn't want to go to the highs again. The, and if we get under the 228, then you're going to have the chance to basically get a retracement. But until then, it's, it's game off. Uh, and that's going to be predicated, because you've got to understand something. You're at all-time highs, not all-time highs, you're at highs in gasoline and oil, and the dollar basically is up. When the dollar pulls back, the bottom line, gas prices will still go up. Uh, we'll see whether this uh, pullback today, uh, you know, has anything uh, behind it. Uh, copper, HGZ. We're on the, uh, you're down 13 and a half pennies. Man, copper's been turning, <laughs> copper's been turning into, um, like, the highest volatile market around, man. I mean, this is something else. So, copper is taking out a B point today. 76,000. It's closed. Something's on ABC down, man. 71,000. It's a toss up. If it's an ABC down, you got uh, 82, 60 cents, which gets you into uh, 380. What's that down there? That's 396. You get some volume. I mean, this thing is, uh, well, it looks like uh, you could get lower price. And so let's go a couple of the big copper stocks and a couple of small copper stocks. Oh, this, mm, this is impressive. So SCCO, this is the largest, largest, largest comp company in the world, and uh, guess what? It's not pulling back, man. I mean, you're down to buck seventeen, but that's light volume. This still wants higher price. Uh, TGB, which is a small uh, copper producer, highly volatile stock, uh, personality stock. Uh, TGB right now trading at uh, yeah. See that got that got more action. It's down to buck ninety. Now this is what ends up happening, folks. Okay, just so you can understand. When, when you're looking at commodity stocks, right, I, I don't happen to know exactly what it costs TGB to get copper out of the ground. Um, I do, the gold stocks, I know almost, yeah, I, I know almost all of them, what it takes them to get out of the ground. But I, 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 you can see it on TGB. TGB is down a lot more percentage-wise, even though it's eight cents, than Southern Copper. And the reason is that their, their price structure to get copper out of the ground, I suspect, is higher. Freeport Mac Moran, so you can see that. You're backing down, you're backing down with light volume. That one's higher price. You're down 78 cents. You're coming into uh, 39 million. You get 14 million. Freeport Mac Moran still wants higher price. That's how this baby uh, is shaking out. Uh, one of the uh, equities that a lot of Tigers own, and be, be careful with this, man. This thing is ready to bust out its lows, and it's, um, uh, the symbol is SAVA. Um, this was, I think, it was, a, it was an article today, well, the Bloomberg of the Wall Street Journal. Uh, bottom line is that you are pounding on the low end of this consolidation to get an expansion of volume. This is a classic that can jump the creek. And if the creek is set up right where we are, basically, 47 is the creek. You're at 46.70. Uh, the breakout area on this equity, and that's where I suspect it's going to go, is about $19. Yeah, it's 1901. And if you break this area, you're going to be at 1901. 1901 is where we want top side. And you talk volatility. In, in one week, this went from $19 to $117. Eight weeks later, it's back at 31 About 15 weeks later, it's at 146 And then it's back to 39 Bottom line, it's all over the place. What this is all about, this is an Alzheimer's drug. 
um, that, you know, bottom line, um, they've had a couple uh, scandals out here. The CEO is, you know, basically saying that, no, everything's cool. Um, bottom line, the SEC uh, is involved now. And when the SEC is involved, folks, it doesn't mean that you're guilty, by the way, okay? Um, but guess what? Uh, it doesn't mean you're clean either. <laughs> that, that's, I mean, you're, you're, you're innocent for sure until the whole thing's settled. But uh, when I look at equities in general and Alzheimer's, we haven't seen one yet that unfortunately works. And we need one that works. There's no two ways about it. Whoever's the first one out that can work, it's a, it's a monster deal because the fact of the matter is it's a terrible disease. People really suffer in a monster way. Um, and, you know, hopefully, they, hopefully they, they have something. But when you actually read the stories about it, I'm not impressed at all. In fact, I think the guy is scamming um, the CEO because he's, play, he's playing with, um, he's play, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's definitely playing with the papers that have been out there. And if you read the, the, the story, so the story is this. And I didn't have this clear the first time this came out. So what the CEO is claiming is that the person that came out with the paper doesn't work for the company. Well, he might not work for the company, but he's been getting paid a fortune as a consultant for the company. Okay, so the bottom line is not an arm's length transaction on the first paper that is saying that, guess what, their protein is basically, he's not saying that it totally works, but he's saying that the fact of the matter is that they are going forward. And there's a, there's a conflict of interest, and it's a monster conflict of interest. So I'd love to know what you think about that, Dan, because that is a conflict of interest. I, you know, that would be like, um, you know, you say you don't work for the company, but yet, guess what? You're know, getting paid as a consultant. There's, there's really not a difference. There's really not a difference, particularly in this day and age, because in this day and age, what you have is that most people are basically working, uh, not W-2 employees. That's what it really comes down to. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now, down 145. Nasdaq's off 34. S&P's off 5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 149. Let's go inside the Dow and see uh, what is moving the Dow uh, down right now. So uh, inside of the Dow Industrials, I think it's Visa, right? Yeah, v well, look at that. Visa's down 71 points. You got gold. Uh, no, Visa's putting 71 down points into the Dow. Goldman's putting 68. Uh, Travel's putting 15. Uh, sending that higher. Home Depot, Home Depot is putting 23 positive points. Apple, uh, 19, uh, Salesforce, 12. Let's go over and take a look at Visa. So Visa, uh, bottom line, is uh, having a fight with Amazon, which you don't want to fight with. And uh, <laughs> the bottom line is that it's about transaction fees. And this is an ABC down. Uh, your A point on this is uh, 236. Your B point is uh, 206. So you got 30 points A to B. And your C point is uh, 221, so you get 190. 191 is the, the number. We hit 199 out here today. And let's see. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Is that the same ABC down? 36. Yeah, same one. So it's still, even on the weekly, it's a 30.8 A to B equals C to D. And then, you know, it's sticking out like a sore thumb down here. So you get 196 that is the highs of the last low that we had out there in October of 2020. And we'll see whether that can stop it. It doesn't, let's see, it's Wednesday. You had two more days. It looks to me like there's gonna be too much volume. So that's wide open down at that bottom out here. That's, that's how this baby is shaking out. And what that is all about uh, is the aspect of uh, transaction fees. Uh, and these credit card companies get a huge amount of transaction fees. So we'll, we'll see where it shakes out. It's hitting MasterCard also. We go take a look at the uh, Tiger came out with numbers last night, uh, this morning actually, and you get Tiger uh, trading down. Walmart was trading down too, and Walmart came out with good numbers. Um, you know, so that that was oh, wrong one. It's it's so interesting, man. Realty income always keeps coming up on my uh, Bloomberg, and I never even look at realty income. Anyway, Tiger's down twelve bucks. Uh, you had hit a high out here at uh, 268 on monday bottom line you're down here and you're down here on volume uh walmart we go take a look at walmart out here walmart that went lower yesterday it's slightly lower today uh that's in a consolidation can, the bottom of the consolidation get tagged uh lows came out with numbers good numbers on lows that being said you're at 255 and gave it up on price you know bottom line you're backing down uh out here on lows you went from 255 to 246 and, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, what you do have on those, I think we're going to have an ABC up on the weekly basis. Yeah, you're going to. So we need 13 million shares. You're going to have it. So, um, you know, if you want to see something and just get a little patient, uh, Lowe's might be a nice little setup, folks. And this is why. So your B point is 239. Your A point is 201. Okay, so we got a 38.8 A to B, which gets you uh, 269. And we hit, no, we hit 256. That might be it. It's close. Huh? 10 more points in there, but it's close. When you, when you get something that's that, that close um, on a $200 stock, sometimes that's it if it gives it up on price. Uh, what we do have out here is that you get that 
208, that's kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. If we go over to Home Depot, Home Depot also come out with numbers before Lowe's. That accelerated higher in a monster way. This is also an ABC structure up. 375 is your B. Uh, it's a 50.8 to B. That's a beauty, man. That's uh, 410. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, yeah, so it's almost done. It hit 399.43. So this is another ABC that's almost done. You know, if you want to understand those ABC structures, structures folks, just go over to Amazon uh, and get my book, The Out of Time in the Trade. Um, pretty clear. It's pretty set up uh, in, in that uh, book that you'll really get to understand them uh, pretty, pretty good. Platinum. Let's go to platinum. Okay, so platinum. This is this is absolutely amazing. So look at this for a second. You got to look at this. I was looking at this this morning. So if you look at platinum, yeah, one second. I'm going to put up platinum. I'm going to put the generic platinum trade uh, chart up, and I'm going to bring. Let me see this. I want to bring this back like 25 years. And the reason I'm going to do this, I want to show you something because it's amazing when the car companies went from using platinum to palladium because platinum was so expensive and then palladium p l come on give me p l i'm trying to just find the come on give me the Let's see. Okay, we'll try this one. Okay, this will do it. Okay, so, oh my God. So look at this chart, folks. If you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see here is this. The blue line is palladium. The white line is platinum. And you're going to see that once it overtook, so it overtook, uh, platinum in 2010 and it, what's amazing about this is that you had you had the palladium market in 2008 price is that i guess that looked like it was about 700 dollars and platinum was a thousand and then man it took off and just never never looked back i mean the palladium market, the high out here in the palladium market is like outrageous. It was, uh, anyway, it, and we'll see where this whole thing uh, is going to shake out. Um, the palladium market, the difference I can tell you in the aspect of a, a precious metal is that uh, palladium is soft. Platinum is hard as a rock. I mean, in a monster way, too. It's just, it's huge. It, there is no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at Great Panther, because there's no doubt this this equity is uh, absolutely got smoked. And then they, uh, on top of getting smoked, what they did is they did a secondary. So, so look at this. I mean, they, they, you know, this is like crazy, man. I mean, they're evidently um, costing them a huge amount of money to get silver out of the ground. There's something that's not quite right here. Uh, they take in $232 million. Uh, bottom line is that they're claiming that, you know, this next quarter they're going to lose three cents. Then they... Next quarter, 12 cents, and they claim they're going to be making 8 cents. That being said, they did a, a secondary at 26 cents, I believe. So they did, if you're looking at that, why that gap down, uh, the bottom line, someone did buy it. And they bought it at, uh, they did a secondary at 20, well, they did, pushed out 23 million. And they paid the underwriters 6%. That's pretty intense. You know what's interesting about this is that the I always thought that the, most you could make on an underwriter deal is 5%, and there's 6%. And it's H.C. Wainwright. Wainwright's a trip in itself, man. The bottom line is that when Wainwright does secondaries, folks, okay, they already have basically sold shot the stock. So picture what, what a business plan this is. You make 6% on selling it out, right? And then on top of that, you know that you are going to basically do a secondary. And so the bottom line is that you shot the stock. Yeah, why, why, watch this. So they, they knew they were going to shot the, uh, they were going to do a secondary probably at 45 cents or at 36. You shot the stock, and then all of a sudden you buy it back on the secondary at 26. Yeah, how's that for a business? Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. 
You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down uh, 34. Let's go into the NDX 100 and see how it's moving it. Uh, this is going to be really interesting after the close. So Now, what happens after the close, folks, is that the NQs, the first session, will be over because uh, what's happening is that, meaning when and NVIDIA comes out with numbers, uh, and I think NVIDIA is going lower. doesn't mean it will, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, but the, the futures won't be open, so it's not going to move the NQs. Uh, out here today... Uh, moving them higher, you get Tesla putting uh, three, three point three. Tesla's up three point three percent. Moderna's up three point eight. You get CrowdStrike up two point eight, and Apple's up one point nine. Taken away from it, Peloton. Peloton's down six point four. You get Baidu up five point five. Pinduoduo is up four point two, and PayPal is up four point three. Let's go to Moderna and see what's happening with Moderna. So Moderna's trade two forty two. This is one two. So you get two gaps down so far. Interesting. So let's put this on a weekly. See where this thing sets up. Okay, 210. You know what's interesting? I always was wondering, right, folks? You know, when, when, um, when the pandemic first came, the U.S. government was given hundreds of millions of dollars to these drug companies, right? And I was always wondering why Pfizer didn't take, Pfizer didn't take any money, folks, okay? Um, and it's so, what's so interesting is that I totally understand it now because Moderna is claiming that, guess what, all the patents and all that, they want to own it. And, you know, uh, U.S. Health Department saying, hey, man, no, 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 that, that's not how it's going. You didn't do this whole thing by yourself. So there's going to be a battle over that whole structure as to who actually owns the patents on the Moderna medicine. 
Whereas in the FISA case, that's not there because the bottom line, FISA never took any money from the government in order to develop their, um, you know, the COVID shots. So probably a good move. Uh, at the time, I was saying, that's really wild because, you know, you're talking about the, the government gave them like 500 million. I mean, it, it's some crazy, no, it's not a crazy number because the bottom line, they needed it. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. Grab it and have a blast with it. Thanks for being here. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Building wealth trading in the